There is a huge beer boom in Kansas City. Microbreweries are bubbling up left and right. But for those who like the harder stuff, yeah, there's now a first-of-its-kind distillery opening downtown. And new at 10, KCTV5's Natalie Davis got a sneak peek inside Tom's Town to learn about the unique history behind it. It's called Tom's Town Distilling Company, and it's named for the country's most polarizing and corrupt political boss, Tom Pendergast. He ruled right here in Kansas City. January 19th, 1920 was the first day of Prohibition. We call that the best day of Tom Pendergast's life. At that point, he began in earnest making all of his own spirits. One of those was called Royal Gold Bourbon. Tomstown curates a series of whiskeys sold under that trademark. Two other colorful characters from the Prohibition era inspired Tomstown spirits. McElroy's Corruption Gin is named after Pendergast's chosen city manager, Henry McElroy. He basically kicked the mayor out of his own office, put his feet up on the desk and said, I'm in charge here. And then there's Eli's Strong Arm Vodka. Eli Matthews was uh, Tom Pendergast's secretary slash bodyguard, so he was kind of the muscle. The history doesn't stop there for co-founder Steve Rivera and David Epstein. They have strong family connections to Pendergast. My grandfather was a bootlegger. Kansas City in those days was divided into two political rivalries, rabbits and goats. The goats were run by Tom Pendergast. They destroyed the rabbits. My grandfather was a rabbit. My uh, great-great-uncle was a U.S. attorney appointed by FDR to take the Pendergast machine down. Their family members hated Pendergast, so why name their new business after him? As my mother said, if you can make a dime after Tom Pendergast's name, Go for it. So they're using his name and his tagline. So he is in prison by 1938, and a Kansas City Star reporter goes and interviews him. And they basically were like, how did you possibly do this? 250 speakeasies, the birth of jazz, not one alcohol-related conviction of all prohibition in Kansas City. And his line to the reporter was, the people are thirsty. Tomstown does tastings and tours throughout the week. We've posted more information on our website, kctv5.com. Reporting from Crossroads in Kansas City, Natalie Davis, KCTV5 News. That's pretty cool. It is. You know, Pendergast never actually went to prison for violating prohibition, but he was a big gambler, and that led to huge debt and time behind bars for tax evasion. Yeah. And remember, the people were thirsty, right? People were thirsty. <laughs> yeah. That's a great line. Yeah. I love that. Yes. It is. <laughs>